Good morning, everyone. On this Thursday morning, I'd like to continue our conversations about living a life of thanksgiving. And today, I'd like to focus on a passage of scripture from Colossians chapter 2, verses 6 and 7. And here's what Paul writes to the church in Colossae. He writes this, And now, just as you accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord, you must continue to follow him. Let your roots grow down into him and let your lives be built on him. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught and you will overflow with thankfulness. Part of what Paul is talking about here is encouraging the people in the church of, of Colossae to know where thankfulness comes from. Thankfulness doesn't come from uh, everything working out great or having all the things that you would really love to have. Thankfulness, Paul says, comes from understanding where you are rooted and the truth that God is growing within you. Learning how to live your lives with that sense of firm rootedness is foundational for us being thankful. And so he's encouraging them to let their roots grow down deep into who you know Christ Jesus to be and who he has revealed himself to be by his Holy Spirit. And then your faith will grow strong. You know, a lot of times we we think that if, if I would only study more, if I'd learn more verses, learn this, that, and the other thing, I would become more spiritually strong and foundationally strong. Now, no, there's nothing wrong with any of that. Please do read more of Scripture, especially in this 180-day challenge that we're on. But more than just reading Scripture or, or um, memorizing verses, take time to quietly reflect. Take time to pause and say, God, teach me who you are. Teach me more about who your son Jesus Christ was. And invite the Holy Spirit to be your leader and your guide in understanding more about who God is and about who Jesus is and about who he wants you to be as you dig deeply into him. And out of that depth of knowledge and understanding of who Christ is in you, those roots will grow not only a, a strong foundation for your faith, but they'll produce fruit, and that fruit is thankfulness. God bless you, church. Let's continue to live lives of gratitude, lives of thankfulness, as we dig deep into who Jesus is in us and for us and for the world. God bless you, church. Praying for you today.